All right, let's do another one. This time, let's do a bowler. And a bowler is a great one to do. And we'll start with our pencil again. And we'll just block it out. Okay. Start with an oval over here. And the pose, well, he's leaning forward. Again, a little bit more exaggerated than real life. And his arm goes straight up here. And that circle indicates where his hand will be. Now, here's one leg coming forward. And here's his foot. His other one, well, it's up in the air like that because he just swung his arm around. And here's his back arm. And let the ball go. Now, okay, ready? I'll get my marker now. And we'll put some detail into this drawing. Now, let's see. We'll give him a pointy nose. And his eyes are up. And you know what? We'll give him a confident look. His eyes are in a U, like that. And here's his ear. Now let's give him fluffy hair. And a big, confident smile like that. And OK, now, the stick figure, we're going to put his sleeve in and taper it down to the wrist, like before. And he just let the ball go. So there's his thumb, and here's his fingers. One, two, three, four and the rest of his hand. All right, let's put the torso in. And his other arm's back here. Okay, that's just kind of out there. There's his fingers. All right, well, here's his leg. And just like I did before with the sports fan, I'm going to put the other leg back like this, and I want to show you a little more shadow just to get that extra dimension. See that? That's on the other side, so his body's casting a shadow. So you gradually get a little bit lighter like that. Now for his feet. Now watch, remember, make sure it goes back long enough, far enough to make that heel. And then the character doesn't look like he's off balance. And some detail underneath like that for his bowling shoes. And some squiggly lines for laces. And some shadow. And here's his other foot. And some detail on that as well. All right, now let's see what else. Here's the alley. Now. Right here, we'll make a line and a splash. And right here is the bowling ball <laughs> that just bounced on the ground. Watch. How about bounce? Bounce. Bounce. Three bounces. And it's a ghosting effect. Now, don't get scared. All I'm doing is redrawing the bowling ball a couple times later. And some detail in the bowling ball and a face in the bowling ball because you can do that in cartoon world, inanimate objects coming to life. Oh, and of course, that miraculous appearing band-aid that always happens, and some stars when something gets hurt. But the good news about cartooning is in the next scene, everybody's fine. All right, now what's funny about this is he's got this confident expression only he thinks he's a great bowler. But the ball doesn't like him. And he's sweating, and there you have it. And that's a great action pose as well. And that's about it. But one more element to show real action. A cartoon effect, an accessory, and a big sweeping line like that, where his arm swung around. And there it is. <laughs> now, when you're doing cartoons, always try to have your cartoon expressing a funny idea, because that's the definition of a cartoon. A funny drawing expressing a funny idea, like the bowling ball there. 